Well, I slouch, baby. That's better. Look at me so I can. Yeah. And remember, don't be looking at the computer like it's your best friend. Yeah. I'm your best friend. No, you're not. We arrived in Cartagena after our hectic sail from Santa Marta. So, yeah, it was really good to be land bound again for a while. Alrighty, what are your list of jobs for our time in Cartagena? I need to get a GPS that I can plug in the side of this. Apparently they're only $40, so this can act as a third backup for maps and stuff like that. I need to fix the tender, I need to organise butane. Not the engine for the tender though, there's holes in the tender now. That's right, like weird holes that are unidentifiable, can't be found, hidden. Then some canvas has come apart, so we've got to sort that out. We need to get the fan belt replaced on the engine or tightened, so I'm going to have a look at that. Um, put up a blog. Oh, we've got to put a block up the top of the mast so that the Jenica halyard stops wearing through. Yeah. And that's it. Alrighty. All work, no play, hey? Yeah. What am I? Yeah. Yeah. Am I? Well, are we playing tonight, though? Tonight we'll play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are your jobs today, darling? I'm pretty much just Riley's assistant. Oh, you poor thing. Nah, well, when I was reading out my jobs, I read out a whole bunch of columns. Well. Oh, okay. All right. You're trying to seem more busy than what you are. We're a team. I always do. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck, boys. Really, I'm going to go to sleep and then go to the pub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so they fight. <laughs> Before we got stuck into our list of jobs, we decided to explore a bit of Cartagena and learn the rich history, as well as tasting the traditional Colombian foods, as well as the local beers. Just doing an accidentally hilarious tour of the uh, historical de Inquisition. The only of this, of the Inquisition, despite the chaos and the heat of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> despite the chaos and the heat of the Caribbean. Follow me. Castillo, dude. Castillo, aquí. No, I don't give him that. That taxi driver hadn't just had one or two beers, he'd had he'd been like drinking for a week. He was absolutely He was rotten! Cartagena de Indias was founded on the 1st of June 1533 by Spanish commander Pedro de Heredia. Most of Heredia's sailors were from Cartagena, Spain, and in part due to some similar geographic features, they decided to name it Cartagena. Cartagena was a major trading port, especially for precious metals. Gold and silver from the mines in New Grenada and Peru were loaded in Cartagena on the galleons bound for Spain via Havana. Cartagena was also a slave port. As the fame and fortune of the city increased and spread, it became a target for pirates and after many attacks the King of Spain agreed to finance armaments, forts and walls. The most prominent of which is Castillo San Felipe de Baraja and that's where Connor and I went to fly the drone. Right, the La Vagabond crew scrubs up all right. Except for Riley, you need to get dressed, darling. I do. Got a beautiful red I'm behind scooter. schedule. You are. And I'm very excited. For tonight? Yeah. What's going on tonight? We're meeting Narcos. We're meeting the lady from Narcos. <laughs> yeah, her name is Joanne. Joanne. Christy. Christy. Yeah. Joanne Christy. See. It was also Connor and Anna's last night on board, so we decided to go out and have a few drinks to celebrate. 
It sounded very... Like an anchor man. Yeah. Yeah. We're just riding on a horsey. No biggie. And we're going to the restaurant so to make the So romantic. Oh, Cheers. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yes. Yeah, get in there. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> I think it's better Thank you, here. Zobo. This has been the best night. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for replying to the Facebook message. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for sending it. Miss yeah. yeah, episode one, season two, look for me. Coked up guy number two. Sweet. <laughs> At first I was perhaps a little hesitant to believe Elena as it had been the second time that she'd self-diagnosed. I really don't feel like recording this morning, but I kind of have to. We are just on the laptops researching a clinic to get my wisdom tooth removed because my wisdom tooth is all on the side of my cheek is just throbbing and throbbing and I've had pains before but never this bad and I think they need to get the boot. Yeah, luckily we have a contact here, someone that we know and she's she's uh, looking into it for us. The lovely Yolita. The lovely Yolita. Well, we're going to leave to the sand blast today. I'm going to start crying now so I'm going to leave. I won't do that. In the morning when she woke up and said, oh, I've got it, I need to have my wisdom tooth removed. It was infected. She was absolutely correct once again. No one knows your body better than you do. This I've is correct. I've always believed that. And then we called up Yolita, who had introduced herself to Riley at the marina. There are a couple of sailors, Yolita and Wolfram. We went from panicking in the morning and looking up like emergency surgery to calling Yolita. She arrived and took you to... Took us to a clinic that her daughters had their wisdom teeth out. Thank you very much. <laughs> so this dude is the dentist for all the like, supermodels. Is that right? Oh well, yeah, I think so. And that guy. <laughs> it's a little surgery because... Because the, the, the tooth hasn't come out completely. So they have to open to get it out. The dentist was a legend. He gave me an appointment straight away and just made me feel really comfortable. Apart from the fact that he looked a lot like that actor. put a needle in my bum to really <laughs> It was just a little bit weird. What? That the cortisone. Liar. Yeah. Really? Here. Yes. Turn over? Yeah. Turn over? Alright. Okay, maybe not film this. <laughs> <laughs> So the dentist sent me home on painkillers for two days and then I was scheduled to have the tooth removed and Yolita and Wolfram let us stay in their amazing apartment so I could recover in comfort. There was air con, a bed, internet, it was just... Cooked oh. us breakfast. I couldn't have imagined recovering in the hot boat. Yolita is an amazing artist and Wolfram is a businessman who is very passionate about racing. So what are these? Did the, the sails, dark room. <laughs> Because the UV damages the racing sails. Correct. Is that right? Yep. So yeah, this, they take a little bit more care of their stuff than we do. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. These are very old. Yeah. And these are the, a little bit newer. Yeah. So we have uh, three jeeps and one main. I don't know where the other jeeps are. So you're getting ready for yeah. racing season here in Cartagena. Yes. Correct. And Correct. you won the regatta. Oh, I'll show you the, I'll show you the plaque. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Wow! Proud as punch. Awesome. <laughs> Where are we off to, Alana? Get my tooth <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> How'd you go, sweetie? Got stuck. The tooth got stuck. So what happened? It hurt to do my bone. Oh dear. It hurt a lot. You look really Mongolian now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fat. I got a fat face. What do you think about that? Because I'm not fat. <laughs> Babe, you can't sing I'm fat. I'm fat. Oh. You can't sing that. It sounds really bad. What I meant to say. Just sing something else. 
I checked with Wolfram as to the predicted conditions that we'd have on the way to the sandblast because we wanted to leave pretty much only two days after Elena's surgery. It dies a little bit at night. Yeah. So you don't want it. You want to. You want to look for the wind all the time. Yeah. And it's always. It's always like by here. It's very comfortable. On a start of quarter. Yeah. It's very comfortable. And you just go straight there all the time. Straight. I always go straight. Yeah. With the romantic pilot. Straight. No. It's, it's gonna be smooth and nice. Cool. Now you're gonna have a little bit of counter current. Good luck. Thank safe you. trip. Yeah, have a safe have trip. Have fun. Until next time. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah see you later. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna miss them. They were pretty good to you. Colombian parents. They were amazing, weren't they? They were amazing. God, we were lucky. Elena was fit enough to leave port and we met up with Jeff who would be helping us sail to San Blas. Hey, right. Good to see you, man. How are you going, mate? Well, man. Yeah. Glad to be here. Oh, yeah, glad yeah. to be here. You're, uh, you're on film. How you doing? This Buenos is dias. Is <laughs> Excellent. Thanks for coming down. Thanks for being so flexible with all your plans and that. I, I spent the last weekend shoveling two feet of snow out of my driveway. Yeah. This is so easy. Yeah, yeah, cool. Before we left for sand blast, I just had to go up the mast and install a block so that the spinnaker halley would stop chafing through, hopefully. Bye bye, Cartagena. Au revoir. Au revoir. guys join us next week as we sail to the sand blast. we get to know Jeff Jeff gets to know us and we get to know the local Kunas I wish I could juggle three I sort of can there is the chance that it's gonna fly into your face so all right ready yeah go congratulations Ben Marshall if you can get in touch with us mate we'd love to have you on board thank you very much for Congrats, watching everyone